represent taxpayers before the IRS, prepare audited or reviewed financial statements, and file reports with the SEC. That's what a CPA can do compared to a non-CPA. Wait, really? Yes, really. Oh, huh. Did you know all it takes to start a tax prep business and e-file tax returns is an e-fin? And to prepare financial statements, you only need accounting software. Okay, now you're just messing with me. No, I'm not. CPAs aren't bestowed with magical powers the instant they become certified. You sure about that? <laughs> with there being so much talk about how to get people to become CPAs, let's ask the question, do they even need to? For me to run my licensed CPA firm, I need to be a licensed CPA. But really the only difference between a non-licensed and licensed firm is the ability to say, I run a licensed CPA firm and I offer accounting and attest services. If I wasn't a CPA and didn't have a CPA firm, I could still be the Graph Tax Co. And all I would need to change in my marketing is that I do bookkeeping, not accounting. If I wasn't a CPA, then I wouldn't be able to assist my clients in IRS audits, which would be okay with me because audits are pretty rare and don't make up a big part of my firm income. I actually think having a CPA firm in Texas can be pretty limiting if you're never going to perform audits. You have to name the firm using the name of the owner, so in my case, I had to put Logan or Graf somewhere. I didn't want to be Logan Graf CPA. Drop the the, just Facebook. It's cleaner. And there's my point. The Graf Tax Co. is still not that appealing, but I was limited by the state board rules. If I wasn't limited on what I could name my CPA firm, I would name it something like Realize Financial. I ask myself this a lot. If I could do all of this over again, would I choose to have an unlicensed firm so I could try to separate my name from my business? I'm not sure. What about my CPA license? Would I still get that? 100% would still get my CPA. How else would I be able to feel superior to all my non-CPA accounting brethren? <laughs> Business. Even though I don't need a CPA, you can't beat the brand recognition. What's the one thing people think about when they think about someone preparing taxes? A CPA. Sorry, EAs. You're still valued, but the public is just not as informed about EAs as they are about CPAs. Shoot, most people don't know that some CPAs don't work on taxes at all. Pour one out for all the auditors out there that get asked by their family and friends if they can prepare their tax return. I'm also not sure if most people even know what CPA stands for. Coolest person alive, am I right? Having a CPA means you're college educated and you most likely went to grad school. You're disciplined because you had to study for four different tests covering some of the most boring topics imaginable. You strive for doing the right thing because you are held to a high ethical standard. The public trusts you. You're certified after all. It doesn't mean we're better than non-CPAs, but we are perceived as better. Those are all amazing things. I'm proud to tell people I am a CPA. Even though it's not a sexy profession, it still impresses people because they understand that you went above and beyond just getting an accounting degree. You took it one step further to be a successful accountant or tax preparer. A CPA will help your marketability and you'll generally get paid more. But to get a CPA is a big lift. In most states, you need 150 college credit hours to qualify for the exam. You also have to study so much for those exams. I averaged a month of studying five hours each day per exam, and I intentionally delayed the start date of my job after college so I could focus on studying. Not everyone has the ability to live with their mom and not need a job for five months. I couldn't imagine working and studying at the same time. Could you learn everything that I know and need to know to run an accounting firm without having a CPA? Yes. You don't need to be college educated to learn debits and credits. My employee isn't a CPA, and I'm training him to be one of the best accountants. Let's do it, Gary, come on, yeah. He is getting his EA though, which helps give me confidence in how much tax law he is learning. Maybe he can even teach me something about taxes. I believe getting a CPA is one of the best things you can do if you want to have a career in accounting, but I'm empathetic to those who choose not to get one. It's a lot of time, and money for something that may get you into a job that takes even more time away from you without much money. So I understand completely why we are here with the shortage. If you choose to not be a CPA, but have a career in accounting, I want you to know 
that having a CPA doesn't make you less than. So how do we make the CPA great again? From the looks of the efforts to change the profession right now, it doesn't look good, but I still have hope. The world needs CPAs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and watch all of my other videos so I can get monetized by the end of 2023. Cheers. Shout out to my middle school eighth grade boys. Hmm, got a dark roast this time. Usually, usually I don't do dark roast, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Shh.